So today I'm going to be showing you guys a tour around my house and a lot of the artwork I have in it. I am a painter. So, and I have been a painter for about 10 years or so now. And I have produced most of the work that's in this house while living in this house. I'm very fortunate that one of my kind of dreams was to have a studio space. And I finally have an actual studio space in our back house office situation. So I'm able to go out there and keep all my supplies out there. And that's where I do most of my work. So. All these paintings that you're going to see in this video, I think except for one, maybe two, I think just one, are works that I've made in this house since we've purchased it and they were made in the studio. So that'll be really fun. I will show you guys at a later date my studio tour and you can see some of the paintings that I'm in the process of working on right now. I've recently finished quite a few of them and finished a few series at the same time. So. I have those kind of queued up for whatever destination <laughs> awaits them. I do move a lot of the artwork in my house around pretty frequently. I haven't as of late just because I feel like I finally kind of found a good point for them, but especially as I've been painting walls and redecorating things, I've definitely been bringing different pieces in that were more relevant to the space or a better fit. And I do sometimes fall in love with pieces I didn't think I liked or end up despising pieces or I realize a piece is a really good fit for somebody as a gift or something like that and those pieces will often end up moving to their new home. So this is just kind of a quick tour of what I have around my house as far as my artwork and my paintings go. So in the master bathroom we have probably my all-time favorite piece. It's called Sunflowers. It's part of the Portal series, and it's on a repurposed gold frame, canvas, and it's just really cool. It has a lot of details with the flowers, some greens, some browns, some blacks, and purple, gold, silver accents. I really love it. The pieces that are more sculpture in here that are not my artwork, I have this brass sunrise mirror and this little fan, vintage fan. I've also spoken about this in another video, but I did do this. It's just not technically one of my painting pieces. In the master bedroom, we have another part of the portals kind of sunflower series that's similar. It was created right before the bathroom piece was. It's just on a long like two by four foot canvas with some really cute details that I really love. And it really ties all the colors into this room. Over here we have, if I can knock at the reflection, uh, a piece from what is called the Sunset Series. I did a few years ago in our old apartment. And this was originally supposed to be a wedding gift for a friend, but I loved it so much I had it framed <laughs> and held on to it for myself for the time being. Let's see if I can get a better angle. There we are. It's simple, but also kind of ties everything in. And I really love the two tone white frames with the patina look. In the baby's room, we just kind of have a small repurposed, pretty heavily patinaed, like two by two foot by 18 inch wood canvas with some really cute details on it. It's kind of a fun piece and ties the pinks and everything into this room. In the guest room, we have a thrifted canvas back there that's not mine. And then we have this canvas made on the old blinds of the house. So I'd like to get it kind of framed out one of these days. It's part of the shapes series I did that are pretty large pictures. I'd say this is about five feet by five foot. And it's got some real fun texture. It's pretty wild, really. 
all different kinds of shapes that really tie into the room. But it's definitely a fun piece. In the entryway, we have this fun kind of sigils type thing. I think it's kind of got a Japanese inspiration. I really like the pink and silver and red accents with the dominoes picture that is part of the portal series that I made pretty early on. But I love this. There's so much texture in this one. And just some fun colors. You'll notice the kind of the red details in some of these as of late. This one I love. It was in our bathroom for a long time, but I think it's been kind of fun to hide it into our closet right here. And kind of reminds me of like citrus fruit with like a body kind of figure thing. In the living room, we have this one that's part of the portals square stuff I did with a black frame. It's a repurposed canvas as well. And a lot of people call this one sushi rolls. So I have ran with that name, but I really like the variation in this piece and the texture. And then over here, this is probably my second favorite next to the sunflowers in the master bath, but this is called Shoots and Ladders and it has a ton of fun little patterns and tricks. And I think it's a really intriguing piece if you look at it long enough. And this is part of my wind winter wheat field series. A lot of these paintings will be gifts for family members that are not this one, but other ones in the series. And this I like, it's got a lot of texture and it reminds me, I did them right before I did the portals. So you can kind of see the inspiration there. Over here, this is a large piece in the winter wheat fields. I think it's about a four foot by four foot and it's got a lot of fun little surprises and little puzzles to figure out as well. That's a pretty big piece and we have it here kind of on the edge of the kids area of the living room. In the kitchen, we have the second of two photos in the whole house that are it's a painting of Mount Hood, and it's the only other painting or artwork that's really not part of anything. I've never done this, so this was a really cool thrift find. And then in the laundry room, we have one of the larger singular portal shots. This is in a repurposed kind of brass gold frame with a beige background. And I didn't originally like this one, but I actually really like it now. Just, you know, kind of a pupil, <laughs> kind of cool piece with some texture. And I fibbed. There's one more painting that is not mine, the third in the home, that is above the piano. But I'm not so sure this will last very long. I might redo it. And in the black hall bath, we have this piece of kind of wrought iron sculpture that I thrifted. I think I ripped a few pieces off so it could hang like this, but this is not mine either. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And if you're interested, I don't really have a way for you to check out anything. I don't do the Instagram or any of that. I guess you could contact me on here or that'd probably be the best. I do have an email that I could use, but contact me here first if you have any questions or you're interested in anything. And otherwise, I will keep you guys updated on what I'm working on now. And I have some really fun pieces and some really fun pieces that I leave as decoration in my studio for the time being. And I will show you that next time. Have a good one. Bye.